I want to do a short video comparing the stock ATN Excite uh, 4K Pro Ultra Ultraviolet light to um, the upgraded version that's probably the most popular, which is the Sniper Hog Light. Um, so I hadn't, I've only had this about two months. I've done a little bit of, of hunting at night, not a ton. Um, this is what comes with it. You get the mount with it. It does have three level switches for your dimmer, um, so you can see it's on, but it, it only has, it goes to three levels. You can focus this, and I will say that with this, you want it probably focused in as tight of a beam as you can get it. So um, the farther you can turn it this way and tighten that beam, the better and crisper it looks. And I'll include some video. This is the stock IR. Just to focus on it. All right. That's the stock IR light on full power, fully focused beam. It's pretty good. Pro, um, the pros of it, it comes with it. It's included in the price. Um, it is, it is uh, lightweight, very lightweight. When you're already dealing with a big scope that's pretty heavy, it's nice to have a lightweight IR light. Um, it comes with, as far as the batteries that you want to use, these batteries. Um, they're, I would say they're. You know, they're easier to find because you can get them at Walmart, but they are pretty expensive, but you could always buy some extra and keep them in your bag, so uh, that might be a benefit to you. It uses two of them, um, <clears throat> but it, it's not bad for a uh, for a basically free light that comes with your um, with your uh, ATNX site. The negative, I can't, you can't take this off. It is only going to be an IR light, and you could probably get a special tool, but um, ATN does not offer you the ability to swap this LED out. Um, so you could run like a red or a green light. So it is just an IR light. That's all it's ever going to be, um, which is a shame. I wish they'd give you the ability to put a red or a green in there. But that's the, uh, the one that comes with the ATN X site. Now, if you want to upgrade, the, the most popular one is the Sniper Hog Light. It comes with this kit. Um, this is the IR850. It is the better IR light for, for, it can see farther. The IR940 doesn't have as much red in it, but it does have, um, it, it doesn't go as far. The IR850, you can see farther, and it has a little more red in it in the light itself, uh, but you can't see it, animals can't see it, so I think the, the 850 is the most popular one, but you get this whole kit when you order the, uh, the sniper, any, uh, any sniper hog light kit. You get a cover for this, which is good when you're packing it out. Um, it has a dimmer tail switch, uh, similar to this one, but this one just has three settings. This one, you can adjust anything between high and low, which that sounds great, but I keep mine on high all the time, so it's not a major deal. It comes with all the mounts. Um, you get the charger comes with it to charge the batteries. The batteries that it uses, I thought I had, there. you get two when you order this kit. I don't know, I guess the other one's in a bag somewhere. But it's these big batteries like that, uh, which last a long time. They, I haven't hadn't had run one out yet, but um, they are you, know, you can't go buy those at Walmart if they go out on you or anything. So um, I don't know if that's a pro or a con, but at least you know it. Um, you get a charger for your vehicle to go with that. You get some different mounts, um, toolkits, little adapters for your, uh, if you want to, how you mount this. Um, there's that other battery. So you get two of those. Um, anyway, uh, the, it, it's a great light. I'll include video. Uh, a couple things that you're going to need to know about this, though, is you're going to need to adjust this focus and find out where it fits best on your scope. So you loosen this, and you turn this black part, and it'll, it'll move the lens farther away um, and, and find that focus. Once you find it, tighten that down, and it'll stay set on that. Um, it is heavy. 
that is the negative to it. It is a big, heavy, but it's built well. It's metal, and I mean this is this is metal too. Um, it's, it seems a lighter metal, lighter grade. So I don't know, I don't know that for sure, but it seems like it. This is a heavy, heavy duty um, aluminum, and uh, I think it's going to be very strong. And you can replace the LED in this. So um, I think they're forty bucks. Um, if you go well, why do I want to spend? You know, 265, which I think this one's actually 300 by the time uh, sh uh, shipping and taxes. It was close to 300. Um, but you know, why would I want to spend 300 on something I can only use for my infrared uh, scope? I only have one infrared scope. That seems like a big investment. For 40 dollars, I can put a red or a green light in here and put it on any gun, and, and also still have it for my IR, uh, which is a great option to have. Um, and you can also buy a handle for these. You could use it like a flashlight. You can buy a white light to go in there. Um, this is supposedly shines a mile. Um, I think with the green or the red, I, you'd want to look that up. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Looks like IR 850s, 2,500 yards. The white light, the green light, 1770. So the white light <clears throat> is going to be your better of the visible lights. So you can use it like a spotlight if you wanted to. Um, it's an extra cost for the handle, but it is an option. Um, if you look at this one, um, for red light. That is the sniper hunt cow. That cow is a hundred yards. Twenty times zoom on a cow at a hundred. See if I can focus her in more. That barn there. All right, turn the infrared sniper. At 100 yards, it looks great. Um, I think they both look great at 100 yards. I think you you could easily hunt 100 yards with. both of them. If you're going to go out past 100 yards though, this is where you want to be. Um, if you're going to be shooting stuff at 200, 300 across open fields and you need to be able to see them and identify them, you definitely want to upgrade to the sniper hog light. Okay, Pro 5x20, no infrared light on. Sniper hog light, full power, and that is 195 yards. Cow, pig, something like that over there, real easy. Yeah. Okay, so that's the look around here. There's some cows over there. Those cows are. 121 yards. I'm at seven zoom. Five times zoom at 121 yards. Okay, let's turn the sniper hog off and go to the stock IR. It's 121 yards. Cows times zoom. Out there where the two is, you can tell a difference. It's not near as bright. Let's see if I can turn the sniper hog light on. Yeah. That definitely brings in that 200 yards a lot better. That's the stock IR at full power at full at full focus. Um, again at 120, you can see pretty good. You could definitely use the stock IR at 120. 
in. Um, it's going to be heavy. You need a tripod to put your gun on. You don't want to try to shoulder fire this one just freehanding it. Uh, you're definitely going to want a tripod or some kind of bipod to support the gun because this, this is heavy. Um, even with this though, I still put a tripod. I still hunt off a tripod. So um, you just might want to get used to that if you're going to use a digital scope. Um, but yeah, good upgrade. It's $300, $275 maybe. It's worth it if you're going to hunt at night. Um, whether it be you, you get the extra LED so you can run the red and the green, uh, that'd be a good idea. Um, have that as an option but yeah it's a great light um, hope to get some more footage of, of hunting with it at night um, not bad option definitely a good starter one good to have i keep this as a backup in where anytime i go hunting at night uh, this is what i'm putting on but i keep this one in my bag just in case this one goes out hadn't yet hopefully it won't but it's always something to think about